This is Lauren. Lauren composed Saving the Arts in her first year writing course, a video argument meant to persuade non-artists that arts classes in schools are valuable and should continue to be funded. Arts make you a better, almost make you a better person. It's, the arts teach life. I try to practice every day for at least 30 minutes, if not an hour. Practice at least two hours a day. Lauren reveals evidence of developing meta-awareness about composition through the process of composing Saving the Arts. Here, we'll look and listen for her learning in several places. In Lauren's interactions during class, in her written reflection essay, and in her answers to questions during one-on-one -on -one interviews. First, a brief look at a few classroom moments illustrates how class lessons encouraged Lauren to think about composing techniques such as juxtaposition and contrast. Here, Lauren discusses a reading on juxtaposition with a classmate. That one talked about the juxtaposition thing. And pretty much I thought it was the same. Like, you're going to put two things like in a proximity to each other, and they're used to like compare or contrast in a sense. And it kind of lets people perceive them and understand the meaning of themselves. Here, Lauren verbalized her initial understanding of juxtaposition, a technique she later uses in her own video. Nine days later, Lauren again talks about juxtaposition when giving feedback to another classmate on her video draft. I know it isn't like anything, but like, I think you use like, I don't know, not just maybe it is, but like, I like when you were showing like the one side of the city, like you use really positive imagery, like, yeah, the kids playing with little uh, fish and like all that, and I like the, like the camera moving and then you'd have a picture and then like camera and then the picture, like it seemed to go like that and then you'd have some more videotape, like, I like that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, then, yeah, even like sometimes the camera would go this way, and then when you'd have a new thing, it goes the opposite mm -hmm. way. Like so I like, like I like the movement. Yeah. Okay, good. I like movement like that. In this case, Lauren reveals her developing understanding of how multiple pieces and effects in video work to forward a message. She comments on her classmates' use of positive imagery the variety of the images, yeah, and strategic that, camera like, movements to organize and differentiate parts of the video. This workshop allows Lauren to see various compositional techniques in action and to comment on their effectiveness. After this workshop and after she completed her own video, Lauren reveals evidence in an interview of developing an even deeper understanding of compositional <laughs> techniques. Specifically, she talks about the technique of strategically using a shift in her video. But I made a shift in my video and I was really proud of that moment because I feel like it goes from like having like, oh, this is like the like more, I don't know, I don't want to say academic, but like logic way of looking at why the arts are good. Like, yeah, they make you creative, they give you discipline, like. Especially um, marching bands where you, everything is discipline. I think that music has, especially marching band, has made me more disciplined. Like I kind of went from there and I shifted it towards like, instead of like having logos, I switched it to pathos and like had an emotional kind of, the arts, like, I don't know where I'd be without music or I don't know what I'd do if I couldn't paint and like have my creative outlet exposed or whatever. And just having that shift and then like, I don't know, having it go from like, oh, upbeat music, kind of like, do, oh yeah, sonata, whatever. And it, from like the logical parts and then like have it be silent while they're just talking and like it's not it's like a minor change but like for me I'm like oh yeah that makes sense like I don't know I really like my shift that was the best part of my video <laughs> live I have to make it breathe I have to make it something that's real I, I wouldn't be the person I am today if I didn't have music I don't know what I'd be doing if I didn't have music fight harder for what you want and I feel like because of band, I have one of that characteristic, um, wanting, wanting something and then 
doing whatever I can to get that. In Lauren's reflection essay, she uses some of the meta language she learned in class, such as contrast and juxtaposition to describe her composing choices. Through her reflection essay, Lauren reveals a purposeful use of the composing techniques that she learned about in class lessons. And Lauren also mentions that writing the reflection essay helped her to think about how the video was connected to writing. So it helped me like tie in because I wasn't really thinking how the video and writing were connected in a way. I was like, oh yeah, this was such a cool project. <laughs> I think it was nice because it kind of showed that writing isn't so much different than anything else we do. It's clear that we can see and hear evidence that Lauren was developing an awareness of specific compositional techniques in several places. First, she learned the names of techniques such as contrast, juxtaposition, and musical rhetoric, and began to explore and use these terminologies in class discussions with her peers. Next, she employed the technique of creating contrast, or using a shift, in her own video. Then Lauren wrote about how and why she used contrast in her reflection essay. The interview questions, however, pushed Lauren to make and articulate more connections between how and why she used a technique in her video and how knowledge of that technique might add to her awareness of composition overall and become useful in the future. So are there any concepts or terms um, or practices from the video unit that you think will stick with you over time as you leave this class? I found a new appreciation for shifts, I think, mostly because, like, I think I said it before, but my favorite part, I swear, is the part where there's, like, music and then it fades away. And then, like, I like the seriousness of the moment, and I, I think I found a new appreciation for a shift in a paper because, the, like, they're, they're big, but people just don't realize, I think, or I don't realize, I would think. <laughs> Can you think of a specific time when you might apply some of that stuff in the future? With writing, if um, for any upper level writing courses I take, that'll be helpful to just like think back to like, okay, I need to have a shift in the paper or where are my ideas going with this? How, what do I need? So how would you describe yourself as a writer now after the course is over? Usually when I write, I just, I don't know, I feel like I just can't write, but now I'm aware like, oh, certain techniques work better, like different ways to start your paper, different ways to transition through your paper. Like having choices is important because not all types of writing are the same. I'm not gonna write the same kind of essay for a research paper as I would a, like maybe a reflection essay or a journal entry. And just learning different types and different techniques and choices to have is really helpful, I feel. There's just so much more I think about when I write. It isn't just, oh, I gotta write this thing. It's, oh, I gotta write this thing, but this, these are the, um, these are the things I have to think about, like audience and tone and, like, I don't know, those kinds of things. <laughs> I don't know. I feel more conscious while I'm writing, if that makes sense. <laughs> the data here makes clear that Lauren became more aware about composition through video. She learned about juxtaposition and contrast, developed her understanding of these concepts in class and in workshop, used those techniques in her own video, and then connected the techniques to her future work, which may or may not be video. Lauren makes these connections because she is engaged with her work and her imagined audience. She learns new techniques and terminologies through class lessons, and she is asked to reflect orally and in writing about how what she has learned will be useful in the future. Lauren composed Saving the Arts on video, but because of instruction and reflection, her learning moves beyond just video. I think we should do the video first and then look at essays because you find a new appreciation for essays through the video. You see how techniques are used visually and you hear them and it helps out, especially when you don't see them in writing so much. And when you see, oh, I'm using shifts and oh, I need to be aware of what I'm saying, I think that'll transfer into your essays much easier. <laughs>